Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm glad to see you. How do you do? Hi. Hey. What's up? How's it going? How have you been? What's new? What's going on? How are things? How are things? How's your day? How's your day going? Good to see you. Long time no see. It's been a while. It's been a long time. It's been such a long time. It's been too long. I'm so happy to see you again. Wow, it's so good to see you again. What have you been up to? I'm doing very well, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Great, thanks. How are you? Not bad. You? Couldn't be better. How about you? Wonderful, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye for now. See you. See you soon. See you later. Talk to you later. Catch up with you later. I hope to see you soon. See you next time. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. It was nice meeting you. It's been really nice knowing you. It's been a pleasure. We'll speak soon. It was really great to see you. Catch you later. All the best. Bye. Take care. Stay in touch. I'm really going to miss you. I've got to go now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. Can you forgive me? I apologize for... Please forgive me. I owe you an apology. You can blame me for this. How should I apologize to you? I beg your pardon. Sorry, it's my fault. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Sorry I'm late. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Forget it. No problem. Never mind, it doesn't really matter. No big thing. It's not your fault. Please don't blame yourself. Think nothing of it. Hello, my name is... Hi, I'm... Nice to meet you, I'm... Pleased to meet you, I'm... It's a pleasure to see you, I'm... May I introduce myself, I'm... How do you do, my name is... Let me introduce myself, I'm... I'd like to introduce myself, I'm... John, I'd like to introduce you to Mary. John, please meet Mary. John, I'd like you to meet Mary. John, have you met Mary? John, let me introduce you to Mary. John, this is Mary. Mary, this is John. Nice to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Glad to meet you. How do you do? Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Many thanks. Sincerely thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks a million for your help. I really appreciate your help. You are so kind. I don't know how to express my thanks. 
There are no words to show my appreciation. What you've done means a lot to me. That's so kind of you. You've made my day. I owe you a great deal. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. How can I ever possibly thank you? You're welcome. It was my pleasure. My pleasure. Don't mention it. Forget it. No big deal. It was nothing. Think nothing of it. I'm glad that I can help you. What time is it? What's the time? Could you tell me the time? Do you know what time it is? How long have you been waiting? Do you have free time this afternoon? What time can we meet? What should we do to kill time? It's ten o'clock. It's midnight. It's six a.m. now. See you at eight p.m. I can't tell you exactly what time we will arrive. It's too late now. My watch is stopped. My watch is slow. Don't waste your time doing nothing. I didn't think it was so late. We have plenty of time. Give me a little more time. It's time to leave. It's almost time to go home. Time went by so fast. The supermarket opens at nine a.m. The class starts at eight in the morning. Can you speak English? How long have you been learning English? Could you speak up a little, please? Could you please say that again? Could you please repeat that? Would you mind spelling that for me? How do you pronounce this word? What do you mean by this? I'm sorry. What do you mean? What is this thing called in English? How many languages can you speak? I speak a little English. I can speak English very well. Your English is excellent. I wish I could speak English fluently like you. Please speak slowly. Please repeat what you said. I'm afraid to speak English. Sorry, my English is not quite good. How often do you speak English? I can read English very well, but I can't speak. I would like to improve my English speaking. You have good pronunciation. Good job. Well done. Fantastic. Perfect. That's great. Nice work. Excellent. That's really remarkable. Good grades. What a nice dress. You look great. This dish is delicious. You look very good in that suit. This tie looks nice on you. You have a nice voice. You look very handsome. I like your haircut. What a beautiful house. What a nice apartment. I really must express my admiration for your speech. How kind of you to say so. It's nice of you to say so. It's very kind of you to say that. Really, I'm not sure about that. Actually. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I'm glad you like it. It was nothing, really. I'm delighted to hear that. Thanks for your compliment. I'm sorry to say this, but I hate to tell you, but I'm angry about. I have a complaint to make. There seems to be a problem with. I'm afraid there is a slight problem with. Sorry to bother you, but I'm not satisfied with. Wouldn't it be a good idea to? Wouldn't it be a good idea not to? 
There appears to be something wrong with. I was expecting, but. Sorry to bother you, but. I want to complain about. I'm afraid I've got a complaint about. I have to make a complaint about. I don't understand why. Excuse me, but there is a problem. Would you mind? I'm so sorry, but this will never happen again. I'm sorry, we promise never to make the same mistake again. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I wish it never happened. Sorry, there is nothing we can do about it. Sorry, but it's not our fault. I'm afraid there isn't much we can do about it. I like dogs. I love cooking. I enjoy playing football. I'm crazy about pizza. I'm fond of rock music. Do you like tennis? Yes, I do. I don't like him. I can't stand these people. I can't stand the smell. I don't like washing dishes. I hate going to the dentist. Are you sure? Are you sure about it? Are you certain about it? Do you think it is true? Do you think so? How sure are you? Yes, I am certain. I'm a hundred percent certain. I'm absolutely sure. I have no doubt about it. I'm sure about it. I don't think there can be any doubt about. Of course. I'm positive. I'm quite sure about it. I'm no doubt about it. I have no doubt about it. I'm absolutely certain that. I'm not sure about it. I doubt it. I'm not really sure about. I don't know for sure. It's very unlikely. I have my own doubts. I don't think so. I don't believe this is true. There's some doubt in my mind that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't know yet. Do you feel like going for a walk? Do you want to go to the movies tonight? Would you like to play cards? Would you like a cup of coffee? What about a cup of tea? I would like you to have lunch with us tomorrow. Would you be interested in going to the movies tonight? Why don't you have lunch with me tomorrow? How about joining me for a walk? I invite you to have breakfast with me tomorrow morning. Thank you for your kind invitation. I'd love to. Thanks. I'll be glad to do so. Thanks. I like that very much. That's a great idea. Thanks for inviting me to dinner. It's very nice of you. Many thanks for your kind invitation. I'll join you. Sure, thank you. With pleasure. I'm sorry to refuse your invitation. I can't. Sorry, I have to work. Thanks for your invitation, but I'm busy now. I'm afraid I won't be able to come. I'm afraid I'm busy tomorrow. Sorry, I'd love to, but I have an appointment. I really don't think I can. Sorry. That's very kind of you, but I can't accept your invitation. Can you give me the book? Could you please take off your raincoat? Could you please take me to the dentist? Would you mind opening the window for me, please? Would you be kind enough to repair my computer? Do you think you could take me to the supermarket? Could I ask you to take me home? Can you tell me what happened? Would you come to my birthday party? Would it be possible for you to come here at 8 a.m.? Sure, I'd be glad to. I'd be happy to. Sure, just a moment. No problem. Of course. Certainly. All right. 
I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, but. I'd love to, but. Sorry to say that. It sounds great, but. Would you like something to drink? Would you like me to open the door? Can I help you? Can I give you a hand? Let me help you. Would you like me to answer the phone? Do you want some more tea? Do you want me to turn down the TV? I'd be happy to take you to the airport. May I offer you a cup of coffee? Yes, please. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, that would be great. Yes, please, that would be lovely. Yes, if you wouldn't mind. That's very kind of you. That sounds nice. Thank you, I'd like to. No, thanks. It's okay, I can do it myself. Thank you for your kindness, but I can do it myself. Don't worry, I can do it. I appreciate that, but I can do it myself. Can I use your pen, please? Can I sit here? Is it okay if I sit here? Can I ask you a question? May I use your computer? May I come in? Can I take a look at your book? Do you mind if I turn down the TV? Do you mind if I use your phone? Would you mind if I opened the window? If you don't mind, I'd like to smoke. I wonder if I could borrow your car for a few days. Would it be all right if I borrowed your phone? Sure. Sure, go ahead. No problem. Yes, you can. Please feel free. I don't mind. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid that you can't. I'm sorry, but that's not possible. No, you cannot. You couldn't do that. You can't do that. Sorry, you are not permitted. You should try to learn English every day. I think you should go home early. Why don't you join an English club? You'd better wake up early. Let's have dinner together. What about having a cup of coffee with me? How about going to the cinema? Don't you think it would be a good idea to have a picnic this Sunday? If I were you, I'd call her. I suggest that you take a nap. You may want to try on this t shirt. Perhaps you could take an umbrella with you. I strongly advise you to do more workout. I recommend that you get some rest. It's better for you to sleep a little more. Thanks, I'll do it. It sounds good. That sounds like a good idea. Thanks, it's a good suggestion. I think you're right. Why didn't I think of that? No, I'd rather not. I don't think so. I don't feel like it. No, I don't think it's a good idea. What a bad idea! That's too bad. That's so sad. I'm sorry. What bad luck. I hope things get better soon. It will be okay soon. I hope you feel better soon. What a pity! What a pity for you! Oh, that's terrible! Be patient, it will be better soon. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. I know how it feels. I take my sympathy to you. You must be very upset about it. I sympathize with your condition. It's very kind of you. Thank you very much. It will be okay, thanks. Thanks for your sympathy. Thanks for your support. Could you tell me how to get to the bus station? Do you know that old man? Do you know how much this car costs? 
Do you happen to know where to buy an umbrella? Can you tell me what the time is? I'd like to know your name. I'd like to know what you think about this idea. I wonder if you could tell me why the meeting was canceled. Do you have any idea how to use this machine? Could you find out where she lives? I'm looking for a book about gardening. It looks like you're new here. It looks like you don't know what happened. Perhaps she knows the answer. I'd say it's over 9 a.m. now. If I had to take a guess, I'd say he's 40. Maybe he wants to quit his job. Maybe it's going to rain. Chances are you're doing it wrong. He could be right about it. I guess you are over 30 years old. It's difficult to say, but I think this is the best English course. I'm not really sure, but I think this is the last morning train. Can you explain why you are so late? How come it has taken you so long to reply to my email? I don't understand why you never finished the work on time. Can you tell me why you didn't attend the meeting this morning? Why is it that you didn't tell the truth? Do you expect me to believe you did this by yourself? I hope to see you soon. Let's hope you will get better soon. I believe things will get better. Hopefully it'll be sunny tomorrow. I keep hoping that she will win the show. I wish it would stop raining. If we're lucky, we'll arrive there on time. With any luck, she'll go home early tonight. I would like to buy a new car. I want to be a doctor. What I really want is to have an apartment. What do you think about this problem? What do you think of my new house? Do you have any thoughts on that? How do you feel about that? What is your opinion? Do you have any idea? Do you have any opinion on this matter? What's your view? Please tell me your opinion on this subject. What is your opinion about that? Can you give me your thoughts on the report? What are your feelings about his behavior? I'd like to hear your views on this matter. I think we need to buy a house. In my opinion, this is the best website for learning spoken English. I don't think we should get a new car. Personally, I think you're right. From my point of view, she is the best student in the class. As far as I'm concerned, this t-shirt doesn't suit you. My personal view is that he is a liar. In my point of view, this is the most beautiful island on earth. It seems to me that we get lost. To my mind, it's the right thing to do. I personally believe we're in the right way. This is absolutely right. I couldn't agree more. I completely agree with you. I agree with this opinion. I don't agree with you. I think you're wrong. I don't think so. I'm afraid I can't agree with you. I'm not sure I agree with you on this. Can we meet on the 14th? Can we meet next Friday? Are you available on the 14th? Are you free next week? Let's meet this evening. When can I talk to you? Can I meet you tomorrow afternoon? How about tomorrow afternoon? Is next Monday convenient for you? Do you have any time available this week? When would be a good time to meet you? Would today evening be all right? Can you give me an appointment on Sunday? Sure, I'll come. Yes, Sunday is fine. Friday would be perfect. I'll be there at that time. Sorry, I have another appointment at that time. 
I'm sorry, I can't come. I'm afraid I can't on the 14th. I'm sorry, I won't be able to make it on Sunday. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. Are you afraid of the dark? I'm afraid of being alone at night. I'm scared of snakes. I'm frightened of spiders. I am terrified. I get scared very easily. I was terrified when I heard the noise outside. I'm worried about her health. Don't be afraid. It's not a big deal. It is nothing. There is nothing to be afraid of. Take it easy. Calm down. I promise that I will finish the job on time. I promise you that that's the truth. I swear I will never leave you. I swear I won't let you down. I assure you that I will return the book tomorrow morning. I assure you that I will be there on time. Believe me, I won't make you disappointed. Trust me, I can do it. Thank you. I believe you. All right, keep your promise. I hope you will keep your words. I hope you will keep your word. Just let the time answer it. I have to admit that I was wrong. I admit what I've done is wrong. I shouldn't be like this. Sorry, I know this was my fault. I'm fully responsible for this matter. I have made a mistake. It's my mistake. Forgive me. Yes, I take the blame. I was the one to blame. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I never intended it that way. Don't mention it. Let it go. That's fine. Just take it easy. Don't do it again. Forget it. It doesn't matter. That would be okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Which do you prefer, football or volleyball? Which do you like better, tea or coffee? Do you prefer hot coffee or iced coffee? Would you prefer to go for a walk or see a movie? Would you rather have dinner with me? I prefer tea to coffee. I prefer to have some water. I like tea better than coffee. I prefer reading books. I prefer jogging to running. I prefer living in a city to living in the country. I would rather go home. I'd rather stay at home than go out. I'd rather take a nap than go for a walk. I'd rather play football than golf. I help you because I like you. I study hard because I want to pass the exam. We have to go home since we have no idea where to go next. You need to hurry up since it's very late now. I can't go out as it's raining. I can't run fast as I'm too fat. I love you, so I will do everything to make you happy. I didn't eat anything, so I'm very hungry now. We had to cancel the picnic because of bad weather. I did it because of you. The flight was canceled due to the storm. I came home late due to the traffic jam. He didn't work hard. As a result, he was fired. I was busy this evening, therefore I couldn't come to your party. Thanks to his hard work, he got a raise. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Is everything all right? What's wrong? What's the matter? 
Do you want to talk about it? I'm very happy right now. I don't think I can be any happier right now. I feel a little sad. It's been a difficult day. He made her very angry. I've been in a bad mood all day. I'm mad at his behavior. I feel very depressed today. You seem a little blue today. I've got a headache and I feel terrible. Can I speak to John, please? I'd like to speak to John. I'll put you through. Hold the line, please. I'll connect you now. I'm sorry, he's on another call. I'm sorry, he's not available at the moment. Please call back later. Could you ask him to call me? Would you like to leave a message? Who's speaking? Who's calling, please? Could I ask who's calling? Can I have your name, please? Who am I talking to? It's Mary speaking. Is it convenient to talk at the moment? Sorry, you must have the wrong number. Sorry, I think you've dialed the wrong number. Hang on for a moment. I'm about to run out of credit. What number can I reach you at? Who do you want to talk to? Hold the line, please. I've got a very weak signal. Can you hear me okay? Could you please speak up? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you say it again, please? It's nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm John. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Where are you from? I'm from the U.S. What brings you here? I'm on holiday. What's your phone number? Could I take your phone number? May I have your address? Are you on Facebook? Who do you live with? I live on my own. I live with my friends. How old are you? I'm 30. When's your birthday? It's June 16th. Excuse me, do you know where the bookstore is? How can I get to the train station from here? Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the bus station? Can you show me the way to the post office? Excuse me, where is the hospital? Can you show me on the map? What's the best way to get to the airport? What's the fastest way to the airport? How far is it to the stadium from here? What street is this? Is this the way to the police station? Is there a supermarket near here? Can you give me directions to the gas station? Go straight on. Turn right at the crossroads. Keep going straight ahead for about 500 meters. The bus station will be on your left. You're going the wrong way. It's about one mile over that way. What do you do? What do you do for a living? I've got a part-time job. Where do you work? I work from home. I work in a factory. What is your occupation? I work as a doctor. I'm looking for a job. I'm a teacher. I'm not working at the moment. I'm unemployed. I do the paperwork. I have my own business. Do you like your job? I completely agree. You're absolutely right. I agree with you entirely. I totally agree with you. I couldn't agree more. Exactly.
Absolutely. You're right. Me too. I agree. I see exactly what you mean. That's exactly what I think. There is no doubt about it. I agree up to a point, but. That's partly true, but. That may be true, but. I see your point, but. I guess so, but. That seems obvious, but. I'm not so sure about that. I don't agree. I don't agree with you. I totally disagree. I'm sorry, but I disagree. Absolutely not. I'm afraid I can't agree with you. That's not right. That's not always true. I don't think so. No, that's not true. No way. Do you understand? Are you following me? Do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I'm saying? Any questions? Got it? I don't get it. Sorry, I didn't get your point. What do you mean? I'm not sure I got your point. I beg your pardon, but I don't quite understand. I don't quite follow you. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Sorry, I didn't quite hear what you said. Could you clarify that, please? Could you explain that, please? What do you mean by that? Could you say that again, please? Could you repeat, please? Could you put it differently, please? Sorry, let me explain. Let me clarify it for you. To put it differently, let me put it in another way. I see. I understand. I got it. Okay, I got what you mean. I understand what you mean. I wish I had come to your party. I wish I had worked harder. If only I hadn't eaten so much. If only I had driven more carefully. I should have come to your party. I should have worked harder. I shouldn't have eaten so much. I should have driven more carefully. I regret not coming to your party. I regret not working harder. I regret eating so much. I regret leaving you alone. I regret the things I didn't do when I had the chance.